going on everybody welcome back to yet another video my name is matthew huss and this is matt does life and today we are doing week number two review of tim sykes 30 day boot camp um you guys have seemed to have loved these videos coming from previous uh the past about week or so two weeks where i've introduced me taking this course as well as kind of regurgitating all the info back to you guys to determine if it's something you should take so the comments have been blown up with questions and I've been receiving a lot of messages about my honest feedback. So I want to provide even more of that in today's video. And in today's video, I do want to go over um, about day six through, I would say 10 or 11. I'm trying to break this up into actual weekly videos to you know siphon back to you guys what it is I learned, what it is covered to determine if it's worth the value for you guys. And of course, again, um, the course is only $80 flat out. If you can't afford 80 bucks to invest in your own education, um, you're definitely not going to feel comfortable investing your own money into the stock market to learn how to trade stocks, whether it's OTCs, crypto, um, NASDAQs, whatever the case is, you, chances are, you're probably just not going to be about it. So I want you to really think about this and determine if it's right for you. I'm sure you have the money saved up. You probably go to Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts 14 times a week. So, um, you can set the money aside and do your thing. Not to mention you probably spent like 30 or 40 grand to go to college like I did. So, okay. So now that that's out of the way, let's get over to day number six of this 30 day boot camp. So day number six is all about understanding level two and the market depth that goes into each one of these stock tickers. So, I mean, very briefly to sum it all up, pretty much goes over the bid and the ask price the time in sales and you know the market makers that control some of these orders that we're going to be putting in, whether it's a limit order or a market order, and just the difference between limit and market orders and even having market makers involved. I did not know that. I did not know that was a thing. So that was really cool for me to learn and understand. And in this day's video, they really go into depth on that, why that's a thing and why you need to be on the lookout for it in terms of placing orders and selling your stocks when these OTC stocks primarily move very quickly and rapidly due to their volatility. So very good information to know in day six when it comes to the to the depth and everything that goes on with uh, with these stocks. So, and I have all of my notes here. Like I said, I promised you guys I was gonna be going through everything and taking a boatload of notes and I have those flip pages worth of notes. So I'm going through and giving you the highlights on this. And um, any questions at all, guys, be sure to drop a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe and be on the lookout for week number three's video because as this course goes on, it gets crazy good and in-depth and really, really worth the value. So um, I want to share all that information with you. So be notified when the next video comes out. Be sure to subscribe. So moving on to day number seven, it's all about what moves these penny stocks and stocks in general. I think it can kind of apply to both listed stocks and OTC stocks. Um penny stocks for those of you who don't know but he goes over the types of announcements that these companies use to push out you know their information what's going on behind the scenes whether it's true or faulty or you know if they get a new investor if they sign a new contract all of those announcements that ultimately move the stock up or down accordingly and then um you know he one of the things that tim and matt monaco really look out for are niche sectors that are moving currently. So they really dig into those and look for certain announcements, certain investors that are being brought in and really determining you know, what is going to move the stock, whether it's up, whether they need to short it. So a lot of good info in day seven to really determine what moves each one of these stocks. So day number seven is worth itself and alone. And it also teaches you the, uh, the percent gains and you know how his proprietary stocks to trade software plays into that so um you know although he does have software that you can buy as a quote upsell he doesn't push it too much in the course there definitely is value in it that i see i don't uh subscribe to the software as of yet i've just done research and watch other videos and i see a lot of positive news from it so um he uses his stock scanners that are pre-built in the stocks to trade to really determine what the stocks are that might already have news and are going to be really big movers for the day. So um, great info there. And then also really discusses the um, the press releases and when you should buy, when you should sell, the time frame on when the stock might run based on previous data. So day number seven in itself is probably going to blow your mind if you aren't too keen on what already moved these stocks in general. Moving on to day number eight, it is all about how to find 
the correct penny stocks or the correct stocks in general. And again, this kind of ties back into his proprietary software, Stocks to Trade. Um, you can check all that out on StocksToTrade.com. I'm not an affiliate. I don't have a promo code or anything to sell you. So check it out if you want. Um, but again, he goes over all of the high to low tickers and the top percent gainers. You can filter all of your stocks by sector. And this day is really um, between Matt Monaco and Tim Bowen, who's one of the lead developers and also traders at Stocks to Trade. You can find all of their info on Twitter as well um, to get more more in depth on some of that stuff. So that day, day number eight, is just all about how to find those hot stocks and using stocks to trade to your benefit to determine what those are. So let's move on to day number nine, um, getting towards the tail end of this video. I know we're five minutes in, so it's a little bit of a longer video, but day number nine is all about support and resistance indicators. And you know these indicators are going to really explain to you um, where the stock might go at any given time based on the support and the resistance. Um, so when you already have, so let's say you're looking at, you know, an indicator and it's, you're looking at a big percent gainer or it's already growing on the day. This is likely, um, due to very good news and the news is supporting that. So a lot of buyers are coming in and pumping their money and pushing this stock up. So, you know, that's why you want to focus on these hot sectors because it's going to tell you where all of the investors are going. And then, um, if you look at his second indicator, you know, that's the 52 week breakout to determine where the support and resistance is. There is looking at the history of the chart on that stock for the f past 52 weeks or full year to determine if there's a pattern there, if there is, you know, some sort of sequence you can identify as to determine where at this current time and place in the market, if the stock's going to go up or down. So really cool there. And then day number 10, which is a super important day, in my opinion, is all about risk management. And of course, that's pretty self-explanatory, but you know, it's all about how much you have invested, how much you're sized into the stock, how many shares you own, when your exit potentially could be, when you're gonna take profit or loss, et cetera. So one of the big things that he hammers home about risk management is to ride the hype, but not to believe the news. Because you have to remember a lot of these OTC stocks, if you've seen the Wolf of Wall Street, it's very similar to that. It's a company out of someone's garage, but they have a really good PR team and it makes it seem like the company's doing a hell of a lot better than it actually is. So really cool there for me to learn and understand that you want to ride the hype up. So you want to sell into that. So if the stock is going up, you want to buy it ideally down here and sell about here as it's going up. Sure, you might miss a completely insane uh, run, but at least you know you're cutting, uh, you're cutting your potential loss a lot and you're going to be taking profit along the way. So really cool there. And uh, you, another thing that is constantly, constantly um, hammered home is to always take small losses and to cut your losses quickly. If you watch any of Tim Sykes's content, he always says 90% of traders lose and you always need to cut your losses quickly. That's rule number one. And that's true. You want to save yourself from yourself. And the only way you can do that is if you, if you cut your losses quickly because you can always buy back in when you start to see a good indicator or a pattern arise that's going to lead to the stock running up again. So just um, that is a majority of the notes that I have that are really worth relaying on over to you guys. Um, I mean, just really understanding that patterns repeat. That is one thing for me. I truly didn't understand at first was that these stocks had patterns. I just assumed they went up and down and spun in circles and nobody really knew why. So until I took this course, it really opened my eyes up to the potential patterns. And as I do my own research, I do see them here and there. I don't have that muscle fine tuned enough yet, but um, it's definitely coming down the coming down the way here. So guys, that is week number two in review. Definitely think it's still worth it at this time. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Be on the lookout for the next video and I'll catch you guys soon.